ask advice, chicken parmi or burger? Okay, they want advice on whether to order one or the other. Yep. Okay. What um, to order? Chicken yeah. parmi or burger? Well, if, if you're considering both, mm -hmm. you know, you've got to ask yourself, so if you're at a venue that's offering both, mm -hmm. and, and I'm guessing this person only wants to eat one, they don't want to pig out and have two. They want to have a chicken parmi and a burger. No, you might think you do it first. It's yeah. like, fuck, I'm hungry and all of this looks good. Yeah. I'm going to do both. Yeah. I might have done that once or twice in my life. But oh, I've done a lot of that. You regret it? Yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Sorry, continue. No, no, well, first, you know I'm about compromise and lateral thinking. Yep. If you're really feeling that, you could ask for a chicken parmy burger. Have you had one of those before? Oh, no, and I'm, I'm ashamed to admit that now. It's never occurred to me before. That's your first time you've ever thought that. It's the first time you've ever thought of that. Fucking genius. Yeah, well, you know, well, you know, props to whoever asked the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can't take credit. No, no, no. Yeah, they're they're that helping inspired me. nurture your genius. Yeah, no, my, my my bloody creativity around bloody you know pub food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you try and get a palmy burger. Yeah. Now, now, because that's quite a revolutionary thought, mm. they might not have it on the menu. No, but that's where you can play your Hollywood star card. Okay. You can see how important and charismatic you are. Yep. By saying to the waiter, can you have a cheeky word to the chef? Mm hmm And can I get a chicken parmi in a burger? Because mm. that's always a very good a sort of measure of your social standing. Yeah. Because if they say to you, sure, no problem, we can do that, you know you're a big deal. Yeah. But if they say, fuck off, stick to the menu. How do they know that? Do they just take a look at you? Or yeah. do you have to be a wanker? Like, no, just... don't you know who I am? Yeah. No, you don't. You never say that. No, nah, not that's right. death. Yeah, no, nah, never say that. That's that's bloody death sentence. But to me... So you just let them judge if I, you? If I order off menu, yep. if I order custom, and the wait staff goes, sure, no problem, I'm like, this is a good joint. And I feel like a good person. Yeah. I, I feel validated as a human being. That's nice. Yeah. And that's repeat business. Yeah. It's like, you'll be coming back. You'll be like, yeah. you'll be telling people, it's word of mouth too. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be like, I went to this place. Yeah. And I couldn't decide between the palmy and the burger. Yeah. So I asked, yeah. can I have a palmy burger? And they yeah. fucking gave it to me. Yeah. You'll tell a lot of people, you'll dine out on that story. For a long time. A year or two. And I got it. Because, it, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it bigs you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, yeah, no, it's a good palmy burger. No yeah. Worries. And then you can, you'll bring your friends there. Yeah. You won't, maybe you won't tell them in advance. And you'll say, and you'll say, hey, Raoul, can I have me bloody chicken party burger like I had last week? And Raoul <laughs> says, oh, I remember that. Yeah, good. I'll, I'll get you another one. And your friends will go, wow, you got chicken party burgers here. Where's that on the menu? And you say, it's not. <laughs> it's not even on the menu. How'd you do that? Yeah. Tell us. That's the kind of pull I have here. And you're, then you're cool. You're yeah. popular, which that's, is, you know, what, what we all want. Yeah. Uh, that's good. And you build up some. Uh, social capital. Your chicken, your chicken palmy burger guy in that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you found a niche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a brand. That's a great way to launch it. Yeah. And you're like, this is what I get when I come here. Yeah. Um, yeah, instead of telling everyone too soon. I see what you mean. Yeah. Instead of going around bragging, like humble brag. Yeah. Like, yeah, I was, like you're telling people because you're excited, but there's a bit of, it's also because you've been a bit of a wank. I'm a big deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good way to announce it. Yeah. As long as you do it kind of smooth, you, you got it. You can't get caught out. No, you it's can't. It's got to look like the first time you're doing it. Exactly. It has to. Yeah. Or else you're fucked. Yeah, exactly. You can't. It's 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 a lie. Yeah. So you got to do it smooth. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't like post online about it. You can't like Instagram your chicken army burger. You got to keep it keep it in the vault. Yeah. And just play it smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's only for a select amount of people. Exactly. To ever know about. Yeah. And that's nice. That's how you'll keep getting them because yeah. they probably don't want to put it on the menu. No. Because it's a bit weird. A bit weird. It's like, well, how do you do it? Do you have the parmi as the buns? And, and the patty, the meat patty Holy in the shit. middle? Or are you saying there's a no. fucking stack of parmi, patty, parmi, and like bun, bun, bit of salad? Yeah. No, so yeah, was, what's your vision? I, I was picturing bun on the outside, like a traditional burger. Yep. But you've blown it open. Yeah, yeah. Using chicken parmi instead of bread. I mean, that's that's Atkins. It's carb-free. That's yeah. very, you know. Well, it's apart from the breadcrumbs, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You yeah. could market that as low carb. <laughs> you really could. You could. You really could. You could. I mean, if grilled can do it with something yeah. that's still, it's like an egg patty. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah. 
I think you'd be able to market that as low carb. And yeah. there's, there's a market there to tell No one's selling chicken bread. No. Like, you know, because sometimes those really fancy places, all the healthy options, they'll go low carb bread, sourdough, they've got gluten free bread. Yeah. You know. To just outright own it. But just go chicken bread, which is not even bread. Yeah. It's just chicken. Palmy bread. Yeah. Pretty good. good. This yeah. is developing nicely. I yeah. mean, again, a great question. Like, very good question. What do I order? And and we're not giving anything definitive here because it is a tough decision. Because I yeah. love both. Yeah. No, I would. I mean, if it was, this is a. It's not asked as a personal opinion, but me, I always go the burger. You always go the burger. If those are the only two choices. Yeah. Because there's some part of me. Look, I don't endorse. You know, I respect vegetarians and vegans and the whole don't kill animals thing. But there's some part of me, if I'm paying someone for a meal. I want the largest possible animal killed for yeah. my meal. Yeah. Because then I feel like a really successful caveman. Yeah. You know, I feel like the chief of the tribe. Yeah. And, and we shall dine tonight. We shall feast. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Bring and, it to me. And and killing a chicken to me is you know it's pretty standard. Yeah. But if a cow's dying. Yeah. For my dinner. Because a cow's a big animal. There is something about that. Even just a steak. I mean, I know it's not on the menu, but yeah. I mean, I'm, I I I go the steak quite a lot at the pub. S- well, steak is the king, isn't it? Yeah, it's the king. It's a yeah. big piece of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big piece. A big. That's a slab of animal. I used to live down the road from a pub that did a, a one kilo. One kilo. Steak. It was one kilo. Yeah. It was it was tricky. I finished it a couple of times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a biggie.